Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Raw Motive. You know, there is something to be said for the simplicity of the Toyota Tacoma. You know, after driving some of my other vehicles around, or driving any vehicle around, a more modern, more updated, more technologically sophisticated vehicle, I start to appreciate the Toyota Tacoma for its simplicity. I'll give you a few examples. You know, first of all, is the, the lack of or the no auto stop system. Now, I've talked about the auto stop system before. I really, really dislike it. You know, first of all, I believe it puts extra wear and tear on the vehicle to begin with. You can't tell me that if the thing is constantly turning off and on and off and on, it's not putting extra wear on the alternator, the engine, all kinds of parts and stuff. I despise that system, and I gotta say, I appreciate how simple the Toyota Tacoma is and that we don't have to deal with that. Now, I don't think it's gonna last much longer. I think when the redesigned Tacoma comes out, indeed, we're gonna have auto stop, whether we like it or not. And I think it may even be a system that we won't have an option to shut off. You know, I've had another vehicle like that or driven another vehicle like that where you didn't have the option to turn it off. It was a rental that we took to Connecticut. It was on all the time. Although I will say in the case of that, it was a Chevy Traverse, I believe. Uh, it worked very, very well. You could hardly tell if you could tell at all that it was even functioning. So I guess if we have to have it, let's go ahead and put it on that way. Next up is the dash cluster, the gauge cluster. You know, in looking at it, it's not very flashy. It doesn't have a lot of lights or screens and things that you can change. You know, I had the Hyundai Santa Cruz recently, and of course it had that customizable dash or gauge cluster system where you could change to different styles of gauges and things, different colors. While I do like it, I've got to say that I did find myself searching for things, you know, like the speedometer, like the gas gauge particularly. Uh, often I would try to find the gas gauge when I was driving around and I really had to concentrate on the screen I was on to figure out where it was. Uh, I don't know if the trade-off is worth it or not. I mean, when it comes right down to it in the end, when you need to use something, you need it to be easy to use, obvious to use, and functional. For me, when you have to look around, try to find what it is you're looking for, it's not such a good thing, even though I love that system. I love the looks of it. From a functional standpoint, which is what it all really comes down to, yeah, it kind of failed a little bit as far as that goes. Next, let's talk about brakes. You know, I did a recent uh, video talking about some of the things that the 2024 Tacoma needs per you and I, the things that we want. And one of the biggest things I, I hear about, and I hear about it often, are drum brakes. Everybody wants it to have no more drum brakes. Disc brakes seem to be the preference. Frankly, for myself, I'm not quite sure why. You know, every time I push on the brake pedal, I stop. I never have any issues with them. And I think there's even an argument, if you're an avid off-roader and, and you're in a lot of heavy, muddy conditions and things, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me that caking that disc brake with a lot of mud and stuff is a great idea. The drum brakes keep it out of the back brakes. Of course, we still have discs in the front to deal with. But I don't know that it's such a great idea, but nonetheless, it seems to be the popular notion that we should have disc brakes all the way around. I think it's gonna be coming. I don't mind what we have. I think the simplicity of what we have is just fine. And again, they work every time I need them. Next up, something simple, the gas filler area or the gas door. All it is is a door that you push, it pops open, and then you unscrew the cap and do your thing. You know, there's a lot of vehicles out there nowadays that lock or have other hoops you have to jump for to get in. We don't have that with the Toyota Tacoma. It's pretty simple. You pull up to the pump, you pop the door open, you take the cap off, and you go ahead and fuel up. The only thing that I would like to see, which actually is a more advanced option, is the capless filler neck. 
In other words, there is no cap back there. You open the door, you stick the nozzle in, and you fill it up. I love that option, and I wish every vehicle had it. Some people have said that, well, it's easier to steal the gas without that. Why, or with it, I should say. Now, I don't understand why that would be. I mean, you can pop the door open now and go ahead and unscrew the cap and do your thing. So what makes the difference? I don't really know. Plus, you do have to have the right device to stick down in there. It's not just an open tube that runs down into the tank. The other thing some people have complained about with that is that, well, water can get in. Uh, since it's open, things can just run down there. That's not true. There is a flap down in there that'll keep stuff out, right? Plus, you have the door shutting it. I don't think it's that much more likely, and I'm not going to say it can't happen, but I don't think it's that much more likely that you're going to get a bunch of water and stuff in there because you don't have a gas cap. Who knows? The next thing is the lighting. You know, everybody seems to be wanting LED lights these days. It's the latest and greatest thing. And I think it's true, and I think it's a good thing for the outside. I think we should have LED signals, indicators, flashers, as well as headlights, brake lights. I think they're brighter and they just provide a little bit more awareness for people out there when you're on the road. However, on the interior, you know, I've had LED lights on the interior. I've switched them myself put them in. And frankly, they can be too bright, like around the mirrors. When you pop the mirrors open and you're taking a look inside, they blind you. I actually switched some back that I had on a previous Tacoma because they were just too bright. You couldn't look into the mirror without being blinded by the LED lights. The simplicity of the halogens, they work just fine. It may not be the brightest, crispest, crispiest rather, white light, but they light up for what you're doing. And I mean, after all, what are you trying to do in there? Are you performing some kind of surgery that you need the brightest light? And yeah, if it were that instance, I would want the brightest light. But for most of us that are just driving around and you wanna primp your makeup or look at something on your face or whatever it might be, the halogens are just fine. And I love that Toyota still has them on the interior. Wish they were standard on the exterior, but you know, you got to give a little bit, I guess. The radio system is the last thing I'm going to mention. You know, a couple years ago or so, maybe three years now, Toyota did update the system in the truck. Now, it's not the latest and greatest thing. It's not filled full of gadgets and buttons and all kinds of things that you can do. But that's what makes it nice, the simplicity of it. When I'm out driving around and I'm supposed to be paying attention to the road, I don't want to be fixated on some feature on the radio that I can't find, something that I want to change and I can't do it because it's not intuitive, it's not obvious. It's simple on the Toyota Tacoma right now. I think that's going to change. I think when the new one comes out, we're going to have a lot more stuff to deal with as well as that iPad type screen that's going to jut up above the dash, but that's a whole nother video. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Are you happy that the Toyota Tacoma is so simple and it's not a bad thing to have it that way? Or are you looking forward to all that new tech and stuff that you know we're going to get in the redesigned Tacoma? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator, and Rob Motive Project Cars, all about stuff I'm doing to the Mercedes-Benz. Check it out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. And don't forget, click the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.